right, guys. I want you to look at how pretty and beautiful what the Lord has done right there. Something else, ain't it? Well, let's go after some fish, guys. We caught a few yesterday with Paul. He's occupied today, I believe. He's playing golf. I don't know about that guy sometimes. But anyway, he's playing golf, so I'm gonna see if I can go out and get back on some fish again today, guys. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire. All right, guys, first trout of the morning. It's been a little slow start, but I was kind of expecting that because of the way the, the time that we caught them with the tide yesterday. So uh, I've moved around to a couple of different spots. This is my third spot. And uh, hopefully this will be, nope. I've been trying to get where they've started up. So hopefully this will be where they start up. Yeah, there's some little bitty trout. And apparently they're right here behind the boat. A good one. I gotta sling it up here because uh, my net broke yesterday. It's a nice trout, really long, pretty, real pretty fish. About 17. It's what you want right there, not bad at all. And he was right behind the boat. So maybe they moved back over here again. I changed over to this pole. This has a heavier weight and a heavier um, float. And it's got a lot more line. So if I need to drift it a long way, I can. And ideally when you're float rig fishing, if you can get in a spot where you can drop it straight behind the boat and let it drift, that's the best thing because you have the most control over your line. If I'm having to throw over here or throw over there, which I do a lot of times, you get a lot of bow in your line because the current's carrying your line. But if you let it go right behind the boat, you get the straight line. It's easier to catch them that way. Now, there's plenty of times, probably most of the time, I end up having to cast over here or cast over there. Then I have to really take care and make sure my line is as straight as I can get it. And you're going to have a bunch of bow in it. But if you ever can get it where you can get your boat in a spot where you can drift straight behind it, that's the best. Another good one. Not as good as that last one, but a good fish. A nice, solid keeper. Trout. I'm sitting in about four feet of water and up behind me it gets a little more shallow maybe up to three feet right out in there kind of sitting kind of at the edge of a big flat there's a big huge flat all through here with a bunch of shells and stuff and the current usually runs right through this section here and there's a sandbar over there so it kind of funnels everything through here Another 17 inch beautiful 
a beautiful speckled trout. I'm not just catching one after the other. But when I'm getting one, it's a good one. I'll take that. I can't just say, I'm gonna catch one right there, or I'm gonna catch one right there. They're just kind of coming and going on this flat. I guess the bait's not really concentrated good, but there's enough here to keep them here. But like I said, I'm sure not gonna fuss now. Two 17 inch trout. No one about 15 or 16. I say, I keep fishing the same way I'm fishing. That's what I'm gonna catch. There you go. Paul's out there playing golf. I hope he's really gonna have a good score today. <laughs> Paul, I hope you shoot the best round of golf you ever shot in your life. Uh, that's fun. To be honest with you, I like doing these videos just because I like to go back and look and see what I caught. So I know what I need to do next year at the same time. Or just so I'm watching. I enjoy watching myself catch fish. Is that weird? I don't know. I don't think so. If you caught fish, you'd probably want to watch it. It's like watching yourself play ball or something. Unless you played real bad. <laughs> you get them in with no net and this is what I was hoping I'd catch when I came out here to the jetties but I'd get on a big redfish nice one about 29 inches got right here. It was kind of like a little red fish.
Yeah, it's a red. They were a pretty decent one. As big as that one out there at the jetties. Nice little guy. About 18 inches. Good one. Glad I did that. Keep doing it. I'll catch some more. Oh, man. Dang it. Yeah, usually the current is pushing so hard on this bank, I can't fish it, really. Can't hardly sit here, but today, Water's way down, the current's not so bad right now. And I was getting ready to go home too. Pitch voice, I'm so excited. There it is. We'll throw it one more time right down through here, and then I'm gonna move down a little bit more. It's too much fun, guys. I mean, just absolutely too much fun. You can't handle fun. You're in the wrong place. You don't come to the St. Mary's River. <laughs> you don't want to have no fun. Stay at home. Stay at home. Watch Wheel of Fortune or something. Don't come out here. All I do is sit here and shake my head. This, this is crazy. Too much fun. Lord. I mean, these are all good fish. Good keepers. Oh. 
This one looks like it belongs in a redfish beauty contest. Look at it. Look at them dots. It's gorgeous. It's told your redfish lately that you love her. You probably should. I've caught like three or four like right there. Right where them little rocks stick out right there. I don't know what's going on. I keep trying to move down the bank some and go further down there. But every time I try, I catch a redfish right here. All right. Guess what this is? I'll let y'all guess. Yes, redfish. You were right. Pretty smart. Do it again. Why stop? What else have I got to do today? As long as I get home by the World Series tonight. Now one thing that's happened is the current has slowed down. Because when the tide comes in here, it makes this current swirl in that big uh, cove back over there. And it makes all this water push out this way. And right now the water's getting higher and it's, the current's slowing down. So that may kill my bite. That's another reason why here, if you catch a fish somewhere, you should throw right back to that same spot over and over again, as long as you can just keep, I mean, that's the way they are here, they school. If you're not used to fishing, schooling fish, that's one thing to keep in mind uh, down here is when you get a bite, and you better hurry up and get right back to that spot. And there may not be another fish there, but you saw how this was. Well, guys, I got to say, that was a pretty good day. It turned into an even better day because I kept fishing. I can't always do that. And that's not always always the way it works out. But um, I had a good time. I'm sure glad y'all got to watch. Thanks for watching Nichols Retirement Empire.